bongs and everything, bro. Oh, they're bamboo bongs. Yo, that takes a lot of skill, man. Look, that man is like, I'm open. Because I know he's about to get laid tonight. And I mean, what more iconic place to come and play basketball than a court right here on Venice Beach surrounded by palm trees? I mean, all the good California vibes are found here. What's up guys, welcome back to another beautiful day here in Los Angeles. I wish I could say it's a sunny day here in LA, but it's actually quite overcast. There's a nice breeze out right now and it's quite cold for being late May here in California. Now today, I'm at Venice Beach, California, one of the craziest, most active beaches in the entire country of the United States. And today, I'm gonna show you guys around. There's a lot of street performers, a lot of food on these streets, a lot of people selling handmade crafts. As you can hear, there's people singing. It's an awesome place. And man, the smells, just to put it in comparison for you guys, or um, just to give you guys a little bit of context better yet, this whole beach smells like pot. It smells like weed. I mean, this is one of those places that people come to from all around the world to really soak in those California vibes. Now, um, today I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the beach area. We're gonna walk the strip and see what we get into. Now, right here in front of me is the main center of like the Venice Beach boardwalk. You got the police station, the basketball courts over that way, Muscle Beach, of course and you got some street performers. Now this kid has been out here for quite some time, for many years. He dances like Michael Jackson and also sings as well. So, it's super cool. Now of course, you got all kinds of souvenir shops. They sell backpacks, license plates, like they got a Chinese massage place, a skateboarding shop street tacos, all kinds of good food. Now, here on this strip as well, you're gonna find a lot of tattoo shops, a lot of pot shops. Something that makes this beach incredibly unique and different than, well, other beaches that you're gonna see around the country. Now, it looks like right here, they actually got some henna tattoos. Those look pretty cool. Now there is a lot of music, so I'm not sure exactly how uh, this video is gonna turn out. Hopefully everything goes all right. And hopefully YouTube doesn't mind all of the background music that is being shown or being played here. Now, here are the basketball courts. A lot of iconic movies have actually been filmed here on these courts. I believe a scene out of White Man Can't Jump was actually filmed here as well. I can't tell you exactly what year that took place in because I'm not good with movies. <laughs> so that's about as much as I know about that. But yeah, it's always super active out here. You got people running fives all day, all day long. It's always super active. And I mean, what more iconic place to come and play basketball than a court right here on Venice Beach surrounded by palm trees. I mean, all the good California vibes are found here. Now it looks like they're also preparing for like some sort of event up here as well you got some big cameras being set up oh it's like a table tennis competition interesting interesting well yeah venice beach it's uh one of those beaches that i grew up coming to it's very close to my house only about a 40 minute drive i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like 40 minutes that's so far but guys we're in the u.s we're in california like everything's like a 20 at least 20 to 45 minute drive no matter which way you look at it so yeah we grew up coming here it's still one of my favorite spots to come and hang out i'm actually here with my mom and gladys right now but they're a little bit further up the road i decided to tune on in and show you guys a little bit of uh, one of my favorite places in the in the u.s hands down i love this place now this little stand here is super unique as well because you find a lot of like the famous fair foods like what you guys seen in my LA County fair videos. Look, they got the fried Twinkies, fried Oreos, milkshakes, churros, all kinds of good stuff. Can't say it's the most healthiest um, of the items, but a lot of good stuff. And then up here, these gentlemen actually um, give you the ride from Venice all the way to Santa Monica or all the way down to Redondo, or Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach, um, if you'd like as well. But they do get quite expensive. I took one a few months back with Gladys and it was about $25 for the, for the 10 minute drive 
over to Venice Beach. But this here is the famous Muscle Beach here in Venice Beach. I'm not sure exactly how this works because if you guys can't tell, I'm not in the best shape myself and I haven't been to a gym um, like this in a very long time. The gym I go to basically has a bunch of cardio equipment, but this here is where you come if you're really passionate about weightlifting. I mean, look at this place. Muscle Beach, super iconic, super famous place. I remember seeing uh, pictures and video clips of Arnold Schwarzenegger lifting on here, uh, Joey Swole. A lot of big um, bodybuilders have come here for some lift sessions. Now a little bit further down, that's what you find as well. A lot of restaurants, souvenir shops, but we're actually about to head this way up the boardwalk to show you guys well, what's happening up on that side of the of the um, beach because that's where it's a lot more active in my opinion. And of course, we're gonna be buying some stuff from some local vendors, checking out a bunch of the little local street art, trying some local snacks. It's gonna be good fun. So yeah, this here is Venice Beach. Let me know, have you guys ever made your way down here before? Or is this your first time seeing this beach? If it's your first time seeing this beach, then you haven't watched too many movies because so many scenes from some of the biggest movies ever to have ever been created have been filmed on this beach. It's a very iconic place, Venice Beach. Now I must say, I love everything about this beach except these bathrooms. And anybody that has been here can relate. These bathrooms are absolutely filthy. I mean, um, every time I walk into one, you see just trash and urine absolutely everywhere and of course there are plenty of actually what was it maybe about six months ago i came here to this beach and i actually went into the bathroom and there was syringes on the floor so definitely be careful um and be careful if you have if you come to this beach with little ones uh, accompany them to the um to the bathrooms now we're actually going to veer off this way because of the music and because I want to show you guys by far one of the most iconic spots on this entire boardwalk which is the Venice Beach skate park now yeah this place is popping today and to be fair I actually prefer it like this than super sunny because when it's very sunny out here it actually tends to be a little too hot I mean the sun gets pretty brutal out here and I've left this beach many times looking like an absolute lobster. But please let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think about this little mini uh, Los Angeles series that I have put together for you guys? I hope you guys have been enjoying it and I look forward to coming back to the US in a few months from Asia to film a large series in the US. I like to visit a lot of states like Maine, um, New York. I like to get down to Texas. I'd also love to go to Tennessee, Nashville, Memphis to make a series. Like you got these guys out here making a little photo shoot. The beautiful American flag waving high right there. And over on the right hand side, we got the California Republic flag. I should have brought my wind guard. Once again, I always forget those damn things. But it's because it tends to get a little bit of a, a little bit annoying to carry around. But yeah, beautiful vibes here in Venice Beach. It doesn't matter if you come in the dead middle of the winter. There's always something going on. Always a lot of people gathered around. Uh, you always catch people out here rollerblading, skateboarding, taking pictures with the with these little um, I guess what do you call them? Concrete fixtures that have a bunch of graffiti on them. Actually, let's walk over there right now. Yeah, it's windy, it's breezy, but I kind of like hearing the wind in the videos, to be honest with you guys, because it gives you a lot more of a real feel and you can actually, you know, feel the vibes for yourselves. All right, we're approaching the, the Venice Beach skate park now, but yeah, these palm trees all have graffiti on them and it's kind of like an art exhibit now. It's been here for many years. You got this trash can that you can come and take pictures with. Yeah, people come here to have photo shoots all the time. I mean, it's pretty cool seeing these uh, concrete structures with the graffiti and the palm trees in the background. Good vibes. All right. Hopefully there's some people out there shredding right now. 
to be able to show you guys a nice bit of the skate park now i have made a couple different videos here um throughout the course of the life of the channel however a lot of them uh didn't get too much traction because i did put them out um about two three years ago oh yeah it's super busy out here today nothing like a july august summer day though if you guys come out here around that time trust me it's gonna be absolutely swamped in here You got the helicopter flying low. That's the Coast Guard helicopter flying over the coastline here at Venice. But yeah, a few people out here shredding. Oh look, we got this little guy out here. Oh yeah, that's a little bit of the vibes here at the Venice Beach Skate Park, but um, you know what? Actually, let me put the camera down for a second. I gotta tie up my shoe and jump down from this ledge to make it on over there, but this shoe is gonna cause some problems, so give me one sec. Ooh, there we go. All right, we're good to go now. Venice Beach. All right, we're good to go. So there's not a lot of skaters out right now. Um, oh, got to be careful with the bike riders. So there's actually this trail right here um, that takes you all the way to Santa Monica. The Santa Monica Pier is about a mile, I want to say a mile and some change down uh, this boardwalk. And it's actually super easy to get to. You can rent bicycles here for around five, six dollars for the hour. Actually, it might be a little bit more expensive now, but no more than $10 for an hour to rent a bicycle. You can also rent roller skates, roller blades to make the journey all the way down to Santa Monica. Now this place gets popping too, but a little later on during the day. Now I watch a lot of videos from Venice Beach because I love watching uh, German, German in Venice's videos. He's a creator who actually owns a shop here in Venice Beach as well. And his shop is actually located um, right there at the henna tattoo stand. Now, I'm not actually sure if he's here today, but that'd be pretty cool to get him inside of the video if we could um, catch him here. I've tried to reach out plenty of times, but dude never responds to my comments. <laughs> but he also has a pretty decent sized channel now and he gets a lot of views, a lot of comments, a lot of interaction. So I completely understand. I mean, I'm a creator myself and sometimes man you get so overloaded with comments it's hard to get back to everybody however i'm sure he appreciates it though but yeah they got a uh, sunglass a sunglass store burger shop a lot of art here restaurants good vibes always let me know what you guys think of this beach so far. It almost, this beach almost reminds me of like the beach in Chennai, India with all the tattoo shops and crazy food stalls. However, um, this spot is definitely a million times cleaner than the beach over in Chennai. But that's the kind of vibes I got when I was in Chennai. I was like, oh, this is like Venice Beach of India. It's sick. What do they got going on here? Oh, they're bamboo bongs. If I would have known, I would have never bought a bong yesterday, man. Yo, those are bamboo bongs. That's pretty cool. Then you got this artist here. He's selling small postcards and art pieces. Psychic readings, <laughs> henna tattoos. 
And yeah, look, here's an example of one of the many weed shops that can be found here. Look, American Cannabis Company. You also got some street vendors selling bacon wrapped hot dogs, fruits. Super, super cool spot, right guys? All right, so here they do rent some stuff. Look, let's actually see what the prices are. Okay, so it's $10 to rent bicycles for the hour and $15 to rent e-bikes. So $10 an hour for bicycle rentals and $15 an hour for e-bikes. Super cool. Oh man, they're selling a little bit of everything out here. So yeah, you definitely want to come out here with some money to do some shopping. Look, you can get your face painted out here. Look, you can draw your cartoon in five minutes. Black and white, $15, color $20. That's a super good deal. And super fast, five minutes. Look, he got Ice Cube back here, Snoop Dogg. Isn't this uh, Mr. Bean? No, seriously, it's always good vibes when you come out to Venice Beach. If you come to Los Angeles, Venice Beach has to be on your list. You guys have to come out here. It's worth coming out here, enjoying a couple hours. Look, you got this gentleman right here building a an octopus out of sand. Yeah, that takes a lot of skill, man. Wow, there's so much music here. I have, I didn't even. Um, I hadn't walked this strip at all today. I was thinking I was gonna beat the music because it is around noon right now. But who am I kidding? Venice Beach never sleeps. It's always active out here. Doesn't matter what time of day you make it on out here. It's always super full out here. A lot of very creative and talented people out here on Venice. A lot of gift shops and souvenirs as well. Oh look, these are 3D stickers. Wow, those are awesome. Like they got all kinds of little Crocs pins like Leo Messi jersey. Lakers, Golden State Warriors, the Simpsons. Pretty damn cool, right guys? Now my mom and Gladys should be somewhere down here right about now. We'll have to catch up with them here in a minute. You can also find a lot of uh, very strange characters here in Venice Beach. I mean, pretty much every time you walk around this strip, you're gonna find something super interesting going on. People just like hipping out. And there's so many people who have like come to Venice Beach and have just like, come to this beach and just made it their home they just come here and stay wow look at this venice these are this is like a chess club and look it says if you win you can win the creepy doll <laughs> super cool so you can spend five dollars play a game of chess and maybe win the creepy doll people get creative out here with their little business um startups that they got going on like henna tattoos yeah Wow, these are cool. Look, they're vinyl discs with designs inside of them. That's a very unique. I've never seen that anywhere in the world. That's awesome. And look, you got some Metallica, Beatles, Elvis Presley, Star Wars. Yo, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely so much music going on. You know, I hope one day that... Um, Oh, this is super cool. Look, they got a dog and wa dog water and snack station. That is awesome. So if you bring your dogs walking on by, they got a place where they can drink some water, get some snacks. Well, what are they setting up here? I work out it. Piece of workout equipment. Definitely not doing no working out today. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to clock in and give you guys a little chill walk through of Venice Beach and show you guys the vibes. I definitely want to come out here and make a more in-depth video for you guys. 
later on in the summertime when it's actually more popping when there's a lot of street performers out here oh man you come out here in the summer july august there's so much going on wow this stand is very unique beautiful stand bro you got some guys out here throwing a football around they got a starbucks here this is actually pretty new there used to be a um oh man what do you call it like a little a little like a circus um business that used to take place here <laughs> oh we got some dude doing some stand-up comedy when you guys come back please donate to my comedy show because your babies are hungry but i am too I stood up here because I'm short, and as a black man, being tall is very much a, a, a part of it. So I just figured I'd get what God was supposed to give me by taking this dolly and standing on it. Look, that man is like, I'm open, because I know he's about to get laid tonight. <laughs> like, he's only got clothes. Like, yeah, I am going to put it on you, man. You will. Yeah, that's funny, but um, back in the day, there used to be a guy, his name was True Artist. He used to stand out here on Venice Beach, and he used to roast people and just, like, start spitting freestyles, roasting people. Everybody that walked by would get roasted by him, but he actually ended up getting a deal, I think, with the LA Kings. I saw him all over the LA Kings page, which is, like, the local hockey team, and now I don't see him out here too much, so he must have found a be way better opportunity than just... Um, Standing on the strip, spitting comedy, but I can imagine they make some pretty good money, especially on the busy days. Look, here we have Kobe Bryant and his daughter. If you guys aren't familiar with Kobe, you've been living under a rock. But yeah, this is like a memorial piece to, to him. You actually see a lot of um, murals of Kobe around Los Angeles, as well as Nipsey Hussle. A lot of Kobe, Nipsey Hussle. Um, in my city, you got a lot of Snoop Dogg murals that you find around really cool really cool to see because kobe's one of those goats man he'll never be forgotten but yeah look another tattoo and piercing shop no this is a vibe it's definitely a good time out here now for those of you guys who missed the live i'm actually heading off to japan in two days i'm heading off to japan we're heading back out to asia i'm going to be hanging out there for around three months in total we're going to be jumping around many different countries that I hadn't been to before. And it's going to be such a great time. I got a lot of very interesting trips planned for you guys and a lot that we're going to be getting into. So I'm excited to head back out there. It's actually been almost a year now since I've been in Southeast Asia. Well, I guess Malaysia actually counts as Southeast Asia as well. So, man, what am I, what am I saying? I was just out there like three months ago. But, um, yeah, Thailand... I really want to go back to Vietnam. We're going to be visiting the Philippines for sure. The Philippines is absolutely happening this trip. And um, of course, we're kicking it off in Japan, as I mentioned. But yeah, these are the vibes out here right now. Man, it feels so good being out here and smelling the ocean the sand the salt it's so nice well you know i can't really smell the salt but you know that smell of salt water if you've never been by the beach and you can't relate i know there's a lot of you guys that tell me all the time in the videos yo chris i really want to see a beach one day in my life i mean so many people live uh in countries or in states that are completely landlocked and a lot of you guys um the only places you've had the opportunity to swim in are either in like swimming pools lakes or rivers but if you get the opportunity to visit a beach then you're gonna know exactly what i'm what i'm talking about the moment you arrive that smell makes you feel so good so good what is this in israel lamp of fire <laughs> Those people have been out here for a while and they talk about Israel and the Jews. 
man, a lot of people out here. Venice Beach is one of those places where anybody can come and just be themselves and, you know, stand, uh, create a business, start up a business, selling absolutely everything or anything that they want and everybody just respects it, you know? It's cool. It's a very unique place here. And yeah, a lot of talented individuals, as I mentioned, a lot of street art. Now, usually what I come here and do is literally nothing. I'll come here, walk the boardwalk, find myself a nice little grassy area, sit down and just chill. And then um, usually grab myself some lunch, go on a little bike ride, and then I'll take off. That's usually what my days consist of. And um, the reason why I'm actually not purchasing any goods out here right now is because we're actually about to head off to lunch right now in a bit. And I didn't have any plans to actually make a video for you guys today. I'm here with my mom and with Gladys and I just wanted to relax and chill, but I decided why not? I need to show you guys this place, especially um, because I do have plans on coming back here again in the summertime and making a video that is a lot more in depth about Venice, but I want you guys to be able to see the two different sides of this, this beach when it's nice and chill and also when it's incredibly busy because it's they're two totally different things well let's see what time we're at right now we are at 25 minutes you know what we'll continue a little bit longer and then i'll and then i'll bring this video to an end and go look for my mom go look for gladys but i hope you guys enjoyed it i mean i know we didn't get into a whole lot but you guys love these um these videos where we just chop it up for a little bit in a beautiful area and of course Venice Beach this is a place that I grew up coming to so I see it all the time but for many of you guys this is the very first time you're seeing it but um, as I mentioned it's pretty dead right now I mean it's still as you can tell it's active but it's pretty dead at the same time if that makes sense usually you come out here and there's street performers everywhere you got people uh, doing all kinds of flips you got a bunch of other people doing comedy people rapping singing like this guy he's about to get set up right now there's usually a lot more going on it's a lot more vibe here but this here is Venice all right guys well I think that's gonna be the end of today's video who knows maybe I'll clock back in um, if I find something else interesting going on but for now I want to find my mom I want to find Gladys and just enjoy my last day in California with them actually um, I got two and a half three more days left here but this is our last day actually out um, doing anything so I want to enjoy it with them wow these little wind charms are amazing look at these got a California license plate an old Ford rim these look like those teapots from Morocco. So sick. All right, anyways guys, I'll see you again soon for another video from our travel journey all the way to Japan. Hero.